So that big thing right there that looks like an 18 wheeler is uh, a package unit. And this package unit is equipped with gas heat, gas furnace. So we're gonna see what it's gonna take to inspect this heat exchanger. And I'll tell you what, it does not look very healthy in here. We've got rust everywhere. This thing has holes in it. Look at that. No good, man. Yeah, this thing is pretty huge, to say the least. Get sucked up into this thing, and that would suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to get close to that. Jesus Christ, that thing's huge. Well, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to make this thing start. Let's come over here. I believe in here we've got controls of some sort. Where to start, where to start, where to start. Well, looks like over here we've got R, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Then we got some W's over here. So I guess we need to put some of those together. Right here it says for f cooling, for auxiliary, for backup. I just want the fan, so I'm gonna try R. Yeah, see, for fan control, use terminals T plus G1 plus G2. And we got T up here. T. Alright, so I'm going to see what we have for power. First of all, we've got 460 to 120 transformer up here. So let's see if that works. It does. We've got 495 there. We should have around 120 or such there. We do. We've got 126.7. Now up here we've got 120 by 24 volt transformer. We've got 126 there, and 26.59 there. All right, so now let's check our T. That's 26. So down here, I've got two different contactors, high-speed blower and low-speed blower. It looks like I've got power high voltage power coming in on my left side which is my high speed blower but my contactor on the right side is energized so I got low speed energized right now and no fuses there so I'm going to shut off power here Yes, like that. Now then, with my power shut off, I'm going to make sure that my power is off. Just gonna, you know, make sure. Because this power would hurt. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure my fuses are good. Good. That one's good. That one's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna put these fuses over there. Uh, I 
guess I'm about to find out. Nope. 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 Okay, so yes. This one is definitely bigger than this one. So I need smaller ones. I think I got some out of my car, my truck. Okay, so in here we've got two motors. Looks like I believe this is going to be my low speed. And this is going to be my high speed. That's my guess. Now see over here we don't have a pulley on the shaft all right over here got pulleys over there on the motor side but none over here not, not there oh and look check it out right there it says high I wonder if it says low over here let's see yeah there it is okay good so I was right that's my low speed and the other side's my high speed but, okay, but, somebody has done this with the wires going to my low speed. I think this is them right there. So I'm gonna open up this, um, this high speed side and see what we got under there. Freaking cover off. So yeah, it looks like like that's what's going on here. I got these three big wires right here that go back to my contactor over there. And let's see if we've got three small wires, small black wires going into to the low speed. Yeah, right. I've got three smaller wires. Let me see. Yeah, three of them right there. I wonder why they capped them off. Maybe the motor's bad. Let's see. Come down in there and uh, take this off. junction box no no splices how fantastic okay so I'm gonna check my my resistance on this over here because somebody has cut it already
1.5. Now over here on the big motor, I got zero point five across all three. And I know it's a three phase motor, but man, that's a lot. That's that's not very much resistance, or that's a lot. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I don't like the ohms being that low. Zero point five. It almost feels like a short. Okay, I got to go into the uh, heat compartment here. Okay, so I popped this thing open and let's see. Ooh, scary. Like I said, I don't know about this. I don't know if this is a good idea. It looks like the heat exchanger might be okay. It might be. <clears throat> hmm. Dangerous. So, oh, I don't see any holes. So it's not just like falling apart from rust and decay like I suspected. Ugh. Shit, it could have. But there are some questionable spots. Like that. And, oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh. It's back there. Yeah, that one. I don't really like those spots. Yeah, not, not at all. But it looks as of right now that it might be okay to run. Okay, so having said all that, I'm gonna continue trying to start it up. Uh oh. Mmm. Not looking very healthy on this side down here, huh?
and I guess it's still uh, still solid. Okay. Watch out for yourself in here. Okay, so it looks like number 17 is supposed to go here, and this one, these these two are supposed to be reversed. Okay, I saw this note here, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna power off again. Okay, let's see if I can make the fan turn on. Uh-oh. I think I did. I think I did. Now that's a heavy freaking... Oh my god. Woo! All right, so I made a big fan turn on. I seem to be getting somewhere. All right. I can shut that off right here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. okay, so after spending some time here looking at these diagrams and what I got here, you can see that T, yes, T comes around and goes through this AFS, which is an airflow proning switch. I'll show you that in a minute back over to R. So T is R, but it's just after R, R doesn't happen until we have airflow. So this is R where it goes through all my different things here. Got W1, W2, W3 for auxiliary heat one, heat relay two, heat relay one, which that's over here, auxiliary heat one, Heat one, heat two, which I think is also heat reclaim. I'm not too sure. I'm still learning about all this, so it's okay. But I've got W3 energized right here with T, and in doing that, when I have airflow running, I now have fire. got heat. So finally, the store has heat and this is slowly going up. So I have turned on the gas valve because it was turned off after I inspected the heat exchangers, which I suppose those are okay. Got exhaust coming out through there, but I've got to replace uh, 12 inch vent pipe in there that's 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 junk. This is getting warmer. So the store should be warming up. I'm walking back up to it. So the 
it's still running. We're putting out 85.6. That's good. Everything is still running here. That's good. Let's see, this says pack one. So, get that model and serial number. Yep. Okay, now to figure out how to make this thing do this all by itself. Check out what I found hidden in here. A thermostat. Okay, so this thermostat I can use to my advantage. So what ended up happening was, um, as I was flipping on and off that fan at the thermostat, my belt broke. So I'm going to end up coming back tomorrow and uh, replacing the belts. So this is just going to be part one. So it's unedited pretty much. I edited a little bit. But I didn't really take anything out so that y'all could see everything that happened and how long everything kind of took. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll follow up with part two here in the next couple of days. See you later.